right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's, really? he's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and no, reach we're out. Rich now. We're going to rely on you in the comment section because we haven't been to Bath. And hopefully we will go to Bath. UK in the near future and play some of these top golf courses and you know it'll be a celebration when we read your comment and starting off at number five we have Tracy Park Golf and Country Club this is a resort that stretches a long 6,157 yards from those back tees it's a par 72 that was built in 1974. It has a driving range and other amenities. It's considered to be a parkland style course, but since it's a resort, be prepared to pay a little bit more. And as we constantly bring you the top golf courses, we're going to take a little bit more lardar of this golf course, and we're going to consistently look at the top golf courses while trying to find your comments of where the next golf course is that we missed. And we don't know where they are because some of them, you know, for the most part, we're going to get it right and we're going to get some wrong. So moving in to our number fourth course on this list, swinging into number four. That is Farrington Park Golf Course with a 4.4 out of 5. This golf course kind of offers scenic views and a lot of relaxation. Considered to be just outside Bristol, and uh, we did a video of top Bristol courses, so this didn't make it. But nevertheless, this course is an executive course that stretches a long 3,002 yards for a par 54. It's going to quickly now move us into the top three, Entry Hill Golf Course is our number third course. And just like every entry, there's a start and an ending. And with this course, technically could be close. It's been operated and for the about last 35 years, and it's considered to be close on its Google Maps. But we're going to sneak it onto the list. It's only a nine-hole executive course that is stretches 4,208 yards. It was built in 1984. has a driving range and a golf school, apparently. It's tiny, it's neat, and it did sneak into our list at number three. And just like that, we have one more, two more courses, believe it or not. And again, we might have missed some of the good courses, so let us know in the comment section which one we missed. But let's take a look now at Bath Golf Club, a 4.4 out of 5 with about 106 golf reviews to choose from. Considered to be a top 100 golf course in the country. This course is semi-private and stretches a long 6,464 yards, being one of the oldest golf courses being built in 1880. It did have some major updates by H.S. Colt in 1937 and, and some in 2004 by Jonathan Grant. It's a par 71 that is a rating of 71.4 and a slope of 122. It's going to move us now into our number one golf course, the first and only Cumberwell Golf Club, a 4.6 out of 5 with 410 golf reviews to choose from. The first 36 holes of this golf course have a ton of history. It's considered to be a top 100 golf course in the country with a total of 45 golf course holes to choose from. We recommend playing the blue course, and they're all kind of all par 3s. There's just a ton of golf here. Nevertheless, we're just going to move on. That's going to do it for our list. Four more golf content. Take a look at the channel. That's it. The Parfessor is out.